Blessed are you, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise for ever. By raising your Son from the dead, death has been destroyed and new life has been restored. In him the victory over sin and the grave is won. As you call us to newness of life, may our lives reflect his glory. Blessed are you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask your blessing upon your church, that despite these strange situations we find ourselves in, where church buildings are closed for public worship, nevertheless, may your church reveal your presence and the power of the resurrection. We pray for each church community in our mission and ministry partnership and here in Broomfield, that through the different ways in which we are reaching out, we may show signs of new life and joy in you. Through our relationship with you, Lord, may we bring others to be faithful. We ask your blessing upon all who are seeking you, all who are perhaps exploring issues of faith in these challenging times those who are new to their faith and those who are struggling with faith because of issues around doubt and the darkness of these times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you to bless this troubled world with peace, a peace that it cannot achieve on its own. We pray for peace between nations and peoples and peace within this nation. We ask your blessing on all who work to bring about peace and particularly the work of the United Nations, of our armed forces and the many NGOs working throughout the world at this time. We pray for all in this troubled world who live in fear of their lives, whether through disease, violence, starvation or warfare. We pray for those who have lost confidence in themselves or the world around them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for our homes and families for the joy of your presence despite our being confined together. We pray, Lord, for those homes where this is proving an unbearable stress, for homes where domestic violence is breaking out, and in particular for those who are suffering in that situation. We pray, Lord, that homes may ever be open to you and your love. We think of those today who are struggling with poverty, joblessness as a result of the recent crisis, and those who have no home. We ask your blessing upon all who are living in this period of strife and fear and who find themselves unable to rejoice in life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are restricted by what's happening, all who are concerned about relatives and friends who they haven't been able to see. We pray for those who are ill, whether through COVID-19 or indeed any other illness those who are at risk of illness through their work or through the contacts that they make on a day-to-day -day basis. We give you thanks, Lord, for our NHS, for the bravery, courage and dedication of those who work within it, for all who work in care homes, hospices and the many, many more who are working hard at some risk to themselves to keep our nation going and keep us well. 
Lord, give each of them courage and hope. Give us all, Lord, and that the knowledge that your hand is upon us and that this period of worry and sickness will pass. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of life and life eternal, we ask your blessing upon our loved ones departed. Many of us know, Lord, people who have lost their lives in this recent epidemic. And we do pray particularly today for Kath and the Gilby family as they approach Cliff's funeral on Monday. We give you thanks for his faithful life and never-ending trust in you. We pray, Lord, for all we have loved and lost, that in, they are in fellowship with all your saints, that they rejoice in the fullness of your presence and glory. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>